There is very limited discussion of fair trade in the business and business ethics literature, despite its existence for over 40 years. Fair trade is a social movement that adopts a people-first approach to trade. It is a term for an arrangement designed to help producers in developing countries achieve sustainable and equitable trade relationships. After 40 years in Europe, the fair trade movement was launched in the Philippines October 2015. The Fair Trade Marketing Organization of the Philippines said it intends to drive market presence and increase sales of fair trade products in the country and in Southeast Asia, being the first Southeast Asian presence authorized and supported by the nonprofit organization Fair Trade International in Germany. On its website, Fair Trade International defines fair trade as an alternative approach to conventional trade based on a partnership between producers and traders, businesses and consumers. Furthermore, when a product carries the fair trade mark, it means it was produced according to international fair trade standards. These standards ensure fair trade products are socially and economically fair and environmentally responsible. The fair trade movement combines the payment of higher prices to exporters with improved social and environmental standards. Ethical trade also refers to international trade that aims at preventing the injustices of global trade, such as child and low paid labor, pollution of the environment, infringement of human rights, and the inequalities in development caused by globalization. As the certification becomes more popular, more and more consumers are aware of the concept, but many seem to have only a surface understanding of the concept as a whole. To be fair trade certified, a product must be produced by a farmer, cooperative, or workers that meet certain standards set by the fair trade labeling body. Currently, there are over 11 certifiers internationally, each with its own standards. These standards vary slightly, but basically require that first, workers receive a fair trade minimum wage. Second, environmental sustainability is upheld. Third, safe working conditions are provided. Fourth, there is no forced or child labor. Fifth, premiums are given to producers based on the product they create. Sixth, these premiums go to a communal fund to be used for development projects. And seventh, the supply chain is transparent to consumers. At present, fair trade is an unfamiliar business concept in the Philippines, according to Fair Trade Philippines President Alejandro Florian Alcantara. Fewer than 100 out of 30,000 fair trade products globally are sold in the Philippines. This accounts for only 0.003% of the global fair trade. The perceived size of the potential domestic market shows there exists a huge market opportunity for fair trade products. However, it is untapped today because of zero awareness. According to Dr. Reynaldo Bautista, Jr., Associate Professor at the Ramon V. Del Rosario College of Business, De La Salle University, fair trade has been in the Philippines for several decades. Unfortunately, it is not as popular as in other parts of the world. A major contributing factor is the high cost of becoming a full-fledged fair trade organization since the organization has to undergo certification. He further says, in the Philippines, while the younger generation are aware, they have limited buying power to purchase these products since socially responsible products are generally more expensive. The older generation has the buying power but has the lesser propensity to buy ethical products. A sound strategy is to cultivate awareness among the younger generation which they will bring with them when they become the main consumers in the future. As of 2015, in the Philippines, there are currently three fair trade small producer organizations, namely 
the Dama Farm Workers Agrarian Reform Beneficiaries Association that produces cane sugar, Nakalang Padilla Workers Association that also grows cane sugar, and the Fair Trade Farmers Credit Cooperative that produces oil, seed, and coconut. All of these products are for export. Some supermarkets in the country, like Rustans, SM, and Metro, already sell some imported fair trade products. Specialty stores like Healthy Options and Duty Free Shops are also doing the same. Global accounts present in the Philippines that use fair trade products include Starbucks for their coffee and Marks and Spencer for their coffee, tea, wine, and chocolates. Ethical consumerism is another issue that deals with the ethical and moral aspects of product value chain from production, that is sourcing of materials, down to retailing of the products. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals has included this as SDG 12, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Societies need to find just and equitable ways to meet individual needs and aspirations within the ecological limits of the planet. Sustainable practices in the production phase of products will not provide sufficient responses to meet the growing demand for basic needs such as food and water. Consumption patterns need to be made sustainable and reduce their ecological footprint to allow for the regeneration of natural resources on which human life and biodiversity depend. The ethical consumer ideal implies that individual consumers can have a significant role through their daily purchasing decisions in promoting ethical corporate practices. Products that make sure that all the stakeholders in the value chain are treated fairly contribute whether a product is considered ethical. With the rise of environmental issues such as global warming, flooding, landslides, we see communities struggling to survive and become easy targets of some companies to make their products more affordable. Ethical consumerism is a system aimed at addressing these issues. Businesses are fast recognizing that consumers care about how the products they buy are manufactured. So we see manufacturers espouse clean, green, and socially responsible on their products. When you buy from a fair trade producer, you also invest a small amount of your money in that local community via a fair trade premium. There are many producers, farmers, fishermen who live with no basic amenities like housing or toilets. With fair trade, Operatives provide a fair price for farmers' produce while reinvesting revenues back into local businesses and community development initiatives, including housing, health care, education, leadership training, and women's programs. So where does that leave the consumer? If you want to create the most impact, do you try to support large companies that help a lot of people a little bit or try to buy products from companies working in local communities at a small scale. Ultimately, the choice is up to you. And the more research you as a consumer does before purchasing a product, the better you will feel. Being actively engaged in your purchasing is the best way to create impact because you will be able to know without a doubt that you are helping someone on your terms, not the markets.